So in this quick tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to use GoBuster and what even is GoBuster. GoBuster is a basically enumeration website tool. It allows you to scan for subdomains, fed in files, hidden directories, and much more. GoBuster is one of the best tools in my opinion because it's the fastest and is the best. It is the easiest to use. Now, on Kali, GoBuster is not installed by default. So we need to basically do it is install it. We can do this very, very easily. Sudo apt install GoBuster. Once you type this in, what's going to happen? It'll install it for you instantly. Now, to get the help menu up, all you need to do is just type in GoBuster. Now, as you can see, we basically go to GoBuster help menu and the two sort of most important tools or the commands or the flags, whatever you want to call it, want to call it is DIR, which is directory, and DNS. I'll show you how to use both of them today. Now I'm going to show you a basic example of usage in a CTF and a normal sample bug bounty scenario. We need to use GoBuster DIR hyphen U, which stands for Euro or the sort of the address, HTTP 10.10.9591 and the hyphen U, which is stands for word list. Word lists are very, very important. So basically, this is a big TXT word list, one of my favorite and one of the most popular, I would say. Basically, what has has entries of files, directories, and what you can really think of, right? So for example, it has, as you can see, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, backup, right? So if it's a, there's a folder in the website, exclamation mark, backup, I will show you that it's there. I'll show you in a second how to use it properly, right? So we're going to use big TXT as an example. So user share word list, word list, big txt. Sorry, they're busted the slash big txt, right? And we're just gonna let this run. And once you let it run, as you can see, we're getting entries of the folders of the website, right? So if I go on the website, right? Sorry, or the browser, and I type in HTTP 10, 10, 9, 5, 91, and I do slash 2020, what's going to happen is it's going to give me sort of, if it's not listed or it's hidden from the search engine, you would only find this by using the directory bust or if you knew that there's something there. And then what I also do, as you can see, it gave us a subdomain, right? So we have found a subdomain. So if we navigate to this, right? So if I type in basic http blog http blog dot thm slash wp admin which also sort of suggests that there is wp admin and as you can see there's a slight problem the problem is it says hmm we're having trouble finding that site um the nano host file right so we need to basically put an entry of this domain so if you come to sudo nano etc hosts and you come down after this and you put the IP address, right? So for me, it's 10109591. And we just put the domain, which is uh, blog.thm. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. And you just press Control X, Y, Enter. And you refresh. Refresh, I said. Refresh. Right. Let's try this again. HTTP, blog.thm, WP admin. There you go, as you can see, it's loading. So now we have a perfectly loading website. And we also what we can do is now we can brute force this website to get into the virtual, uh, into the admin panel, sorry, not the virtual machine, into the admin panel, right? Now, what I want to show you is one thing, how to use the subdomain enumeration tool. Now to enumerate subdomains, all you need to do is just come to GoBuster, Okay, so just to find basically out, as I said, I'll show you how to enumerate subdomains. So we're going to this GoBuster DNS hyphen D. Now, either the IP address, for example, let's use 8888, or the website with no protocol. So website with no HTTPS or HTTP, right? And let's use this basically the command I have here. DNS Jihadix is one of the most popular and one of the best. And also hyphen 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 wildcard basically force iterates through every subdomain, even if it's found, right? So we just keep going. If it finds a subdomain, it'll just keep going till it finds all of them, right? So once you run that, it'll find should find all the subdomains. 
and you should be ready to go. Now, one more important thing about basically brute forcing uh, for domains or so, uh, enumerating files. You should try to use two to three word list for high success rate. If not, then just use one big one or one very, very good one, right? Sometimes what you might have to use is I sometimes have to use between one to three word lists just to make sure that I get all the sort of files in. Um, so because sometimes one word list will not pick up everything, right? So just to be aware of this, if you can't find something and you go for a write-up and there's something isn't there, just use between one to two, three different, different, obviously different word lists, right? But just make sure it is something related to, because if you're trying to brute force a WordPress, don't use something you would use for another website, right? If that makes sense. If you have any questions, I mean, in the comments, don't forget to check out my hacking course, which will be in the description below. There's a discount running right now, if I'm not wrong. And also one important thing, important thing, if you want to ask me questions, make sure to hit me in, uh, on Twitter. I respond there as soon as possible.